Hello friends. Glad to see you on my channel. Subscribe and be the first to learn new facts about the history of interesting photographs. Today I will tell you another interesting story of a famous photograph. This is a photo about the first girl to officially run the Boston Marathon and why they tried to stop her. The Boston Marathon is one of the oldest and most famous marathons in the world. Its history began in 1897. And only men took part in this marathon. It was believed that a woman was physically unable to cover a distance of 42 kilometers. And why do they need this when there are such wonderful things in the world as cooking, children, and cleaning? But not everyone agreed with this. One of them was Catherine Switzer. In 1967, Catherine Switzer was still a student studying journalism, but she loved running because she believed it built endurance. At the university, she met freelance track team manager Arnie Briggs, who had already competed in the Boston Marathon, and began training with him. After his stories about the marathon, she became eager to participate in it. Officially, the marathon rules did not say that women were prohibited from running it, and Catherine and her coach decided to take advantage of this. She decided to escape not secretly, but by registering. Since the name K.V. Switzer, under which she registered could also belong to a man, Catherine had no problems until the very start. But immediately after the whistle it started. The starting pistol sounded. At about the fourth mile, the runners were caught up by a press truck. Reporters spotted Catherine, and there was a stir among them. After some time, a large man in a coat appeared right in the middle of the road, shaking his fist at Catherine and shouting something unintelligible. As she ran past, he tried to grab her hand, but only pulled off her glove. Catherine thought it was some crazy person from the audience, but then she noticed a blue and gold badge on his lapel. It was Jock Sample, one of the organizers of the Boston Marathon. She picked up the pace, but Sample caught up with her and grabbed her shoulder, shouting get out of my marathon, and then tried to rip the number off her chest. When Arnie Briggs, who had been running next to Catherine all the way, tried to reason with him, he simply threw him aside. At this moment, Catherine's boyfriend, Tom Miller, came to the rescue. Clenching his fists and crossing his arms over his chest, he leaned his entire weight on Jock, and he flew to the side of the road. Catherine stopped for a while, but her coach shouted, run as hard as you can. I cried, I was horrified that my boyfriend hit one of the organizers. I was really, really scared. At that moment I realized that everything had changed. Suddenly the point of competition was to prove what women could do. The reporter truck continued to pursue the group in which Catherine was fleeing. They behaved very aggressively, hanging down, poking cameras almost in the athletes' faces and shouting to Catherine, what are you trying to prove? When will you retire? Are you a feminist? But, despite the extreme stress, Catherine continued to run. The thought occurred to her that if she quit the race now, women would never be allowed to participate in the marathon. And so, despite all the obstacles, Catherine Switzer ran the entire distance. Since that memorable day in April, Catherine Switzer has run 39 more marathons. It was thanks to her efforts and fame that in 1972 women were finally officially allowed to participate in the Boston Marathon. This photograph, in which Catherine is attacked by an organizer insulted for her masculine honor, appeared on the front pages of all American newspapers and to this day remains one of the symbols of women's struggle for their rights.